Okay guys, I thought I would just, uh, I'm killing a little time here, so I'm going to go ahead and make a little short video here, just because I can. Uh, put a ZL 40 millimeter balanced intrude crank into this case. Uh, I noticed a lot of you people are starting to try to do this at home. That's, that's awesome. I'm glad you are. Uh, when you get First step, once you get your case back together uh, in this in this situation, before you put anything else on, make sure that that little booger turns so easy and free. Uh, you'd be surprised how th the people put these things together and then they got to get a wrench to turn the crank over and they haven't even got stuff put on it yet. That should tell you, you got a problem. Back up, take it apart. But here, take your little finger, turn it over, turns great. You got no side motion, you're good to go. Uh, one thing I might throw in here, just a footnote before I get off of here. I've noticed people trying to uh, modify the inside of their case to try to get more flow. Uh, I, I looked at one of the guy's pictures and I noticed that on the back side back here, he had had uh, ported it all out for m maximum flow coming up the back side. Uh, which, I mean, it looked awesome. There's only one problem with that. The engine doesn't turn that direction. It turns this away. The crank is coming up in the front and down in the back. Uh, you need to really concentrate on what you're doing because some of these guys are thinking that well that's the back side the crank turns that way no it doesn't I mean it will but that's not the general way for it to turn it turns from this side clockwise therefore it's coming up in the front not the back okay keep that in mind when you're trying to learn how to port and maximize the flow into your transfers uh, because if you don't stop and think you're going to do it backwards and then you've got an engine probably that's really going to suck okay have a good week people